welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. We are currently Woo! on our very last day of holiday. We are oh. about to start traveling home. We've been down just off Key West on Salt Rock. Salt, uh, Salt Island? Island. Salt. There's loads of different islands down yeah. to Key West if you don't know what Key West is. On the one just on before it. One just we did before. go down to Key West yesterday. That was, was lovely. Great. But we realised we hadn't actually showed you the last place we stayed in. Just wanted to give you a quick tour around. And Karis is, is being talk. Oh, you look lovely. Nice bikini, oh, babe. Thank you. We're just about to go and do some last minute sunbathing. I'm literally making the most of the sun. Yeah. This is the kind of only sunbathing. I, was, I said to Karis, like, we've literally got half an hour. And she's like, okay. I'm like, okay, well, I'm ready. <laughs> Dressing area, bathroom. Coming in. Oh. And that's the room. Oh. Literally, how nice is the view though? You go right out from the room. We go right out pool. down into the pool, guys. This is why we've been doing all our sunbathing. James, don't forget your Florida Key West hat. Ah! Uh, Yesterday he was like, I'm gonna buy a hat, look how cute it is. I've been wanting to buy a hat all holiday. Let's show your amazing hat. I was like, this is the biggest dad hat ever. I was like, you are officially a dad. Yeah. You literally just come out of the balcony. I don't want to get ma many people in it, but we've got like, yeah. I know, it's very quiet, which is also something that we've really, oh, it's sunny, that we've really I loved like about this place. It's quite off-peak season. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it gets busier in the afternoon. We haven't basically seen no kids around here, which has been great. Um, <laughs> and everyone's just chilling. And then it's a really nice pool area. And these sun loungers, we yeah, obviously we go on the two right in front explore. Of like we can pop back every two seconds to yeah. cool down. We've never had a room like yeah. right by the pool. Um, I never considered it. And they've got little hammocks as well. It's so freaking cute. And that's the little bar that opens. And we have all our cocktails and lunch. And the food is so all freaking good. All of our cocktails. Catherine's one hits the floor. Yeah, I literally. <laughs> one day that we um, sort of spent lounging around the pool, it was like the day before yesterday, we met this really nice um, lady. And we were like chatting by her for, by the bar for ages. And I literally had two cocktails and Did I was like one beer and one cocktail I was ready to go to bed I had one beer out. one cocktail and I had to go for a nap I was like okay and I kept seeing dogs and I was like Mila and I was like oh my god it's time for bed you were eating food at this time as well it wasn't oh yeah were... I just had food okay guys we're trying to get onto the hammock well done James. so there's any trying about it babe we absolutely we, smashed that we've been here for two days we haven't even tried to get on the hammock okay, okay I'm, I'm clinging on you know there's no oh, getting no, that's off actually now actually nice you sound surprised, it's just a hammock. I thought you loved hammocks. Um, maybe. I blend in with the hammock. It's kind of tilting your way. It's my colour, isn't it? Well, yeah, I am a heavier weight, <laughs> unfortunately. When was the last time we went on a hammock? I remember one time we went on a hammock on holiday. In Turkey? Yeah! It's the first holiday we went on. Aww. Thought we were so cool going it to the travel agents. It was our first holiday. It wasn't even our first beach holiday. No, it was, it was just our first, first holiday, holiday ever. Yeah. We're just chilling out. We're having oh, a good time. Gosh, we don't have long. We don't want to go. We've got to leave to go home. Go Although we can't Mila. wait to see Mila. I'm so excited. It's unbelievable. We've been, these last two days, we've just been like, Mila. <laughs> and there's been so many dogs around this freaking yeah, island. Yeah, there has been loads of dogs around here. And like two black labs we saw actually in our hotel. Yeah, literally. We were absolutely Black mental. Labradors. They've been in the water. It looks exactly like Mila. I had literally fur all over me. I was stroking it so much. <laughs> I'm kind of I crying at the same time. I you were wearing black because it didn't really, didn't really I'm show. I'm just like wiping out my dress. <laughs> Come here, doggy. Okay, so instead we decided to go for some breakfast for kind of the last half an hour that we have. We didn't have very long. We, we were just out there like spent hungry. Spent 10 minutes in the set and we were like, maybe we should get breakfast before we go out. We haven't been to breakfast yet in this hotel, so it'd be cool to see what it's I'm like. I'm excited. I know. I literally just have to show you guys this hotel. It is honestly goals. It's literally house goals, hotel goals. And then all the sofas and decor, big doors to the outside. They got some cool art and stuff going on. It's a pretty cool hotel for some pretty cool people. I was just gonna say that. Were you? I was gonna add in for some pretty cool people. We you belong here. To a girl. I'm catching on to your comments. <laughs> what a delightful setting with a delightful girl for our last breakfast. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to be cute on the vlog, guys. What do you think? With the cutest, did I, what did I say? I can't even remember, it was so faked. What did I call you? The cutest view with the cutest girl. Oh, I can't remember. Just be yourself, yeah? Okay. People come and judge. Uh. <laughs> hey, what are you fancying? I don't know, there's so much no. good stuff. Honestly, I know. American breakfast have been we went, we went to the breakfast club too down in Key West yesterday and it was insanely good food. Yeah. I got stomach cramps later so quick, it wasn't good. <laughs> Our breakfasts have arrived. So good. They look so good. I love how it always goes with a scoop of ice cream. A what? A scoop of ice cream. That's butter. 
<laughs> oh my god, I actually thought you thought that was like ice cream. Much, it it, it yeah. really looks like ice cream. This was really good, but very filling. It was. We just had some delightful. last minute packing to do. We are on Try time, hard. guys, if not early. This is a James success. This is a... I am so happy. This is a James um, preparation yeah. day. We're on yeah. his schedule, we're mm -hmm. on time. It's about, this makes James happy. It's about three hours a quarter to the airport, okay? That's a so long I time. put that up to three and a half hours. And here we and go. And then I said we need at least half an hour extra because no one else will stop for coffee and Travel stuff. Travel tips. So that's four hours. Our flight's half five. We need to aim to be there. Just gone three because then at half three we check in. So, you know, we're leaving. We wanted to leave at 11. So I told Kara it's half ten. And it's now quarter past ten. We're doing well. We're smashing this. And I never listen to what he says. No. And then I'm just like, where are we going? <laughs> what well, are we I always leave like an extra half an hour to an hour. And then we end up spending like an hour in McDonald's. So I it's, know. it doesn't actually work Why does that anyway. always happen Because I'm there like, yeah, we've got loads of time. Yeah, you are. I'm, McDonald's. I'm like, wait, it's an hour away. <laughs> wait. We've got to check in in half an hour. <laughs> we must go. So last bit of packing. Yeah, it's getting done. And then we'll be getting going. Okay, the room is clear. We have double, triple, triple, checked it. Room. Tag, choose, a food is in. Um, I don't think we've told you guys, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen all my stories, but the day that we traveled down here from Orlando, it was literally a six and a half or seven hour journey, and um, we traveled around two hours into the journey, and then oh the um, Airbnb apartment where we were staying messaged us and was like, hi, you've left a massive bag full of new clothes and shoes, and we were like, we left everything there. Karis left everything there. No, we literally have been blaming each other because basically oh, I... It was your bag. It was but your ja bag. you guys know James triple checks everything like six times. No, no, no. Like, I'm he sorry. Literally... We put things in the car and then I said to Karis, is there anything left up there that's no. yours? And you said no. And I went but... up and I checked all the rooms apart no. from the guest room, which Karis was the It wasn't even in, in the guest room. It was literally... It was in the doorway of the guest room. Yeah, it was literally in the doorway corridor. And James checks under the freaking pillows like a hundred times before we usually leave places. So I was, like, I was becoming, he is gonna I'm becoming more relaxed, and that's it now. You turn me the other way. Oh no, you you're relying on me. Two hours into the drive, and then we have to go two hours back, and then I drive know. six and a half hours. We were gonna vlog that day. Not we that didn't. Hour, we? we were like, no, it was actually fine. We didn't even. Complain, we just, we did complain, oh my gosh, a lot. Kyle was there like, maybe they could post it to us. I literally was like kind <laughs> of then we got back them. and it was such a heavy bag, I was like, no, they would never They would post not it. post that to us. <laughs> it was fine, we made an adventure of it, we had yeah. lots of food, we now had a good time. Just leaving the suitcases at the front and Yeah, we have left the suitcases. Bye, Florida Keys. We're now on our way to the airport. Nice and it's early. It's so sad to be leaving. We're still on about his practical times. <laughs> Look, it says we're gonna get there at 10 to 2. That's an hour early. Go up. This is great. This makes Come James on. so excited. Oh, this is a good representation of Florida yeah. Keys. If you don't know what Florida Keys is, because yeah. honestly, you can I didn't. A bit more. Here we go. Oh yeah. Zooming now. It's basically loads of islands with a massive road just running through the islands and like it just goes I'll actually just pop up some photos it's easier to see <laughs> and we're driving just chilling water on each side and kind of just going over oh, islands it's, it's incredible and honestly I didn't even know it existed until I didn't know we it booked existed. this holiday and like you should go down the Florida Keys and I was like, I was like what is that I googled it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Really pretty. So great. It's, it's gonna be, I love gorgeous. any of you guys live kind of in Florida Keys, and I bet it's the kind of place where people go, no, it's not, it's rubbish here. Yeah, yeah I, I know. <laughs> it's like, like it's out so the way. Beautiful. And then everyone's like, no, it's rubbish. Well, nothing to do. It's I get literally. so bored. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a chill destination. It's literally just water sports and beaches. It's, it's great. Like, it's, it's great. It's great. As long as you can then leave. For a few days. <laughs> not as gorgeous, isn't it? Could yeah, you imagine stunning. living somewhere down here? Is this kind of your, or are you more of like a city busy vibe? I'm, this is a bit too chill for me. Yeah. So I, I feel like, a bit too chill. I think we need to be within like 45 minutes of like some busy. Yeah. Like yeah. Miami was maybe a little bit too yeah. Kind busy, of in the downtown main. Miami area, definitely. Yeah. And then I'd say this is a bit too chill. So yeah. we, we like Tampa. We like the middle. We like, yeah. <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like we should have a little chat with you guys. I mean, you've already probably seen the title of the video, so I mean, you probably guess what we're thinking. We have been having some thoughts about coming and moving out here to America. It's just even scary to even Someone say it. Someone did tell us off on the last vlog for um, saying America, when oh. we should say US, but oh, everyone okay. out here says America. You know, really? I, I feel like, yeah, 
Yeah. We've got to say the US, is so, it? Well, that is the United States, that. obviously, which is Yeah, I true. know that. Um, I yeah. got that. But I think everyone understood, to be honest. Yeah. We just thought we would have a little discussion with you guys. That's kind of what we want this wanted this part of the video to be. Yes. Kind of like... We're just meeting up with our best friends. We're having a little discussion. We are obviously you know, chit chat, isn't it? You know, yeah. over a cup of tea. A cup of tea, some you know, biscuits. Maybe we should pop pop to Starbucks for a coffee or something. Oh, okay. He's getting. No, oh, that's quite good actually. Or is that done it? No, that's should fine. Should be fine. Should be okay. That should be okay. Um, yeah, we just wanted to have a little chit chat basically because we have been thinking about it. Obviously, we haven't made any decisions. No, no, no. The wedding is coming up. We're just having a thinky dinky, aren't we? It's just a little thinky. Did you guys. Say, did we say that we've we just been having a think? I think we think we're just having a thing. Um, yeah, we were. We I know we've talked about before wanting to after the wedding do something, yeah. move somewhere different, experience, experience somewhere, somewhere, somewhere different. Um, and we thought about within the UK. Also, my jumpsuit is broken. That's literally just popped back out again. It's just tied here, and the rest Why of the jumpsuit is here. Why did that happen in the hotel? And I did say maybe wear something else. No, I was just so upset. This was my airport <laughs> outfit. I planned it. I'm going to continue <laughs> with the outfit. I planned it for a whole ten minutes, and I was like, this can't be. <laughs> literally. So I'm just tucking it in and going with it. Um, yeah, we thought about doing somewhere else in the UK, and now we're just. It kind of popped into our head about the US, and so that's kind of one of the reasons that we came out here for our holiday slash trip was because we were kind of considering it, and we were like, let's go out and just see if it's like a holiday bug or whether that's kind of going to wobble and it's going to annoy me. Um, whether we kind of just went on holiday and we were like, okay, we don't want to come and back out here. That's why we did like a bit of a tour, wasn't it? And yeah, to explore. To explore kind of all the uh, different, different places. places. Not all the different places, a couple of different places. Just a few. You know, it's a big, it's quite it's a, a large space. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we literally love it out here so much. Um, but of course, we are only 22 years old and it's quite a scary... I'm sorry, how old are we? 23! I'm, I'm 23. 23! You're 22! Are you Ooh, okay? You're a little baby! Be, be scary for you! I know, I'm an old woman <laughs> and you are young. Are you okay? Like, <laughs> you're like, girl! I know, I'm looking after you. Um, so yeah, it is super scary and we just thought we'd run through basically some of our pros and cons of moving out here because we just yes. wanted to hear your guys' opinion on it as well. Yeah, whether you're from the US of A the or US from of the U of the K. Of the U of you the K. You know, we just love Well, anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. You guys yes. literally come from so many different places and we love getting your opinions on things. So let's go over our pros and cons <laughs> of moving out here. I think so one of top the... of your pros. Oh, sorry, okay, you no, yeah, you go, first. you go. Let's stay positive. I think start with positive because then you're like, yeah, we're going to move. And then it's like, con, Whoa. con, con, con. We Ooh. stay in. <laughs> I think one of my biggest pros is that it's amazing out here. No, one of my biggest pros is the weather. Yeah, I think that's my biggest pro. Vlogging um, in the UK can be difficult yeah. because yeah. it's very dull. It's it's not actually you negative in the UK, but I feel like, like ring, ring lights, lights to actually get any decent light. And it's just not the same as the sun. No. We feel like creating content out here has been a whole new vibe. It's been incredibly motivating. It's been incredibly easier yeah. than in the UK. Maybe because the lighting, maybe, I don't know, I but it's like just... because in the UK, you're sitting in Starbucks, like, we're just having our coffee, and then you're like sprinting to the car. Yeah, it seems a lot in, more... And then you're in the car, and it's raining. Yeah. And I can actually see, kind of, as a viewer, if mm. you're having a bad day, do you really want to watch someone the rain. sitting in a car with it raining? I mean, I actually love everywhere. the rain. But I don't. No. I feel like I'm one of those people that the weather really kind of influences influences my emotions. That's big. That's like very common. That the, and I think yeah. I, I, actually yeah, I do I think, think. If I wake up to rain, I'm like so for TV. <laughs> it's less motivating, right? It I is, feel like yeah. we've been super motivated out here, and I'm sure a lot of that is to do with the weather. Um, so I think that's a massive pro. Mm -hmm. um, another pro is it's a new life experience. I think that the fact that we have this job is amazing and the fact that we can take it anywhere it's a very like incredible life experience to move to a different country and yeah. to be able to support ourselves to do that and to actually do it i think we are would be outside our comfort zone doing it and i yeah. think that's actually a positive sometimes it forces you to have new experiences and do things that you i think it's it's good to know. remember that when we're talking about this we're we're not in our head thinking like this is where we want to live for 50 years no it's like we're talking about just coming out having an experience yeah you know, like we don't like we're going to the cons, which is obviously getting visas and stuff. We yes. don't know how long we'd be able to stay out here. Yes. So exactly. like we don't know how long it would actually be, but we're just talking about coming out and getting an experience. Yeah, just living somewhere new you know, for a little if bit. If we wanted to have kids and stuff, then you know that's when we'd go back. Yeah. 
again, that's like maybe another con. Anyway, yeah. let's go for let's the Let's go for pro. Sorry, I just think. No, it's good. Still, mate. You're absolutely right. They match together. Um, and so, what was that pro? Uh, oh, the, an amazing life experience. experience. What's the other pros? I feel like they're the main ones. Pros? Yeah, yeah. So the weather. They kind of just all mingle I in think, together. Um, it's it's yeah. You can get like cheaper housing out here. Yeah. That's good. true. I think um, there's a um, lot. Yeah, there's a lot of roads are straighter. <laughs> makes it easier. There's to no roundabouts. Roundabouts. I'm it's fine with roundabouts one. though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mm, yeah. I was just gonna go Parking and say. Parking spaces are bigger. Yeah. Because cars are bigger. Drives massive cars. If you get just a large car rather than a massive car, the parking space. Parking's so easy. <laughs> That's I true. I can actually drive into parking spots out This here. is true. I can't do that in the UK. This is true. <laughs> kind of all just mingle into one yeah. of like if, uh, an exciting change, a great lifestyle for vlogging. Um, I can get a tan. We can get a tan. Mila will be able to go in the water more. Aww. You know, Mila's favourite activity is swimming. We've and seen she so can many only dogs swim for about two months of the year because that's only yeah. those hot in the UK. Because it gets she so cold. She can swim all the time. Oh, she would literally love it so much. Okay, let's do some cons, and okay. then if we think of any more pros, we can go back. So cons would be that the biggest one would be flying Mila out here. I think that's quite yeah. a big one. Yeah. Um, there is. I think it's something that no one would take lightly. No. I think course. when we mentioned this before, like loads of people were like, "Oh, I've done this so much, and the dogs are absolutely fine." They yeah, we've got it. some good feedback so on that. So I think like we only actually had from people who had actually done it. Yes. We only had good feedback. You hear no the horror stories. You hear the horror stories, but just like you do with everything. And but also, like, from the people who had actually done it with their own dogs. Yeah. It was only good feedback. We got a did. lot of feedback from yeah. that when I put that on my story, and also there's a website which everyone recommended. Yeah where they literally go through everything with you they do everything that's best for the dog it's actually run by vets and it's like yeah, it's literally got like five star reviews um from everyone so, so they're really good and like they're meant to be really on hand and they will book you with the airline good. yes that has the absolute best, best for the dog. facilities for the dogs i think we're in such a privileged position that we can you know like we, we can have her on the yeah. best flight possible and we, yeah. we'd be willing to do that kind of thing girl you know we girl, <laughs> we're gonna look after you we're gonna look after that dog um, and that is one that's of the one of the biggest ones because i think that comes hand in hand with us not knowing how long we can stay out here yeah which goes on to the visas definitely and this is what we've been talking about the most is um we, we're pretty sure we can get a visa for six months yeah just like the vacation we haven't looked into this properly like we said this is just kind of an initial let chance. us know if you do know anything about this but we're pretty sure we can get a visa for six months Months, which yeah. is like a vacation visa. Yes. You may be able to extend that vacation visa. It's very complicated. It is very, the issue with us being self-employed and yes. not actually getting the job from a business is that we can't. It'll be very difficult to get a work visa. Yes. Let us know if you know anything about yeah. that. Um, but we we are pretty sure we'd be able to come out for six months, which would be amazing. Yeah. And then maybe extend it. Um, and extend it from there. Yeah. But we don't know. We'd have to get advice know. before coming out. So yeah. So visas, dogs. And obviously a massive one, of course, is being away from our families. Yes. We would both struggle with that a lot. Um, and our friends. Oh, gosh, our yeah. friends, have, we literally wouldn't know anyone yeah. out here. We don't know anyone. And that would be exciting, I'm already but scary. I'm like everyone's birthday and Christmas presents, which is just going to be flight tickets to come see us. <laughs> Hi, for your birthday, you get to come and see us. Please come Have and see us. Tickets to get on the plane. <laughs> I've already asked all my friends if they come and see me. They were like, "Yeah, girl, America trip." Um, but yeah, that's a huge one. Obviously, I'm sure that'll be a huge one for yeah. anyone moving away. Con is kind of the uncertainty. Yeah. You know, in the UK, we have our house. Yeah. We live we near know to what's our going parents. On. If we wanted to move in the UK, we know where we want. We'd want to move. We know the drill. To Cardiff. Yeah. We're very safe. You know, coming out here, it's a massive risk. Like, yeah, it's a huge change. We don't know. Where, Even all the if stuff we can you find were saying. Somewhere nice to live. Or yeah. It's just. And James brought up loads of stuff the other day, like do what the, do they do for road tax? Do you have to have MOT for your cars? Like you all these live, stupid so, small yeah. things that you don't think of when you're yeah, out there. And you're like, when you come insurance, here. insurance, home insurance. It's like, what do we have? Health, we're not health buy a house care, or whatever. We'll deal with all that. But yeah, health care. Health insurance. Like, can we live under travel insurance, or would we have ah! to get? And again, they're all all the cons like almost yeah. tie into like it's an exciting change and yeah. you can make light of being a lot of scared yeah. and it being kind of risky is what makes it exciting exciting i don't know i'd love to know your thoughts I only the positive ones you have actually any personal experiences yeah with 
relocating to a different country, yeah. you know, relocating to the US or whatever, wherever you've gone, yeah. it would be really interesting. Yeah. And then also, like, you know, we've only explored Florida. We were thinking of exploring California. Yeah, other maybe. places. Maybe the two places we were really thinking. Sunny all year round we were yeah. hoping for. But I like the idea of Florida. Apparently it's yeah. cheaper and slightly less hectic. Yes. Um, so, I don't know, just Let us know. We would love yes. to know your thoughts. It's just so beautiful here. Okay. Look at this. Look at the weather. I'm driving in a sleeveless top and shorts and I'm getting a bit hot. I know, I'm sweating. The aircon's on full blast. I'm sweating. <laughs> Let us know below what yeah. your thoughts are. Um, I think we're going to end the vlog here. This is the end of our travel videos. Have you guys enjoyed? Thank you so much for watching all our travel vlogs. If you did, or if you didn't watch any, then maybe go back and watch them because we had so much fun making them. Oh, it's been such a good experience out here. It was honestly... I loved it, but just yeah. get me home to my dog. Oh, okay. Don't even go there. Like We can't talk oh, about the dog for too long because we get upset. We literally cannot wait to get back to Mila and we cannot wait to do some more homey vlogs with all three of us soon. Oh, so stick tight the wedding those. soon, guys. The wedding is so coming soon. up soon. We are thinking of changing our upload time as well. We don't yes. know what. We're thinking of keeping it at like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or something. Yeah, just a bit make later. Sure, make sure you're starting your notice on, and then it, you know you'll just you'll just get the ding. You'll bit. get the notification. Yeah, Please give the video a like if you enjoyed. Wow, that was really quick. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed. <laughs> Leave us a comment below. We love reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we appreciate all your love and support on all these videos. It has not gone unnoticed. No, Every know. single comment has not gone unnoticed. I think because we've been trying this so much, we have read through them all. But a chance to apply. Yeah, it's been a bit more hectic and crazy, yeah. but we've appreciated it so much and we love you guys so much. Thank and you so, much. so much. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>